A woman who tested positive for COVID-19 developed a rare brain disease known as acute necrotizing encephalopathy, a condition that can be triggered by viral infections like influenza and herpes. At this point, the brain damage has yet to be demonstrated as a result of COVID-19 infection. However, as the novel coronavirus continues to spread, clinicians and radiologists should be watching for this presentation among patients presenting with COVID-19 and altered mental status. The woman, a 58-year-old airline worker, checked into the Henry Ford Health System in Detroit after having fever, cough, and altered mental status for three days. In the hospital, the woman appeared confused, lethargic, and disoriented. Noting her symptoms, the doctors also tested the patient for COVID-19 and found that she tested positive for the disease. Scans of the woman's brain revealed symmetrical tissue damage in the thalamus, a structure buried in the center of the brain that helps relay sensory information from the body to the rest of the organ. These damaged areas appeared darker on the woman's CT scan than they did in the scan of a healthy brain, meaning they were less dense than usual. The rare condition develops most commonly after a viral infection, such as those caused by influenza A and B and the human herpes virus 6. These infections can trigger a so-called cytokine storm in the brain when inflammatory substances that normally help the body fight off disease instead go haywire and damage the infected tissue. Cytokine storms break down the tissue that surrounds blood vessels in the brain, known as the blood-brain barrier, and can thus lead to hemorrhage. Although the doctors could not directly demonstrate that COVID-19 triggered the woman's unusual brain disease, a recent report in the journal The Lancet suggests that a subset of infected patients appear vulnerable to brain-bound cytokine storms. In addition, a case report published in the Serious Journal of Medical Science described a 74-year-old patient with both COVID-19 and signs of encephalopathy. It should be noticed that elderly patients with chronic conditions are at an increased risk of altered mental status in the setting of acute infections. At this point, the potential neurological symptoms of COVID-19 are not well understood, but they should be further investigated in infected patients. Altered mental status might even serve as an early symptom of COVID-19 in some people.